Welcome back, it's Todd God of Thrash and Zombie here with uh, more of the 50 years of my favorite albums. Uh, around five or more albums from every year until 2023, I'm 50 years old. Um, going through every year, finding albums that I think are my favorites. Uh, still in 70, this is 1974. Uh, 70s going to be a little tricky because I didn't listen to a lot of music when I was two years old or one year old. So, but this is stuff I listened to later on that are from that year. Uh, first one, this is reverse alphabetical order, I guess. I don't know. Leonard Skinner's Second Helping. This is the one with Sweet Home Alabama on it. And that is probably the only reason this is on this list because that is a fantastic Amazing Southern Rock song. Who does not know Sweet Home Alabama? Just a great, great fucking tune. But other songs in here are good. I Need You, Don't Ask Me No Questions, Working for MCA, The Ballad of Curtis Lowe, Swamp Music, The Needle and the Spoon, which sounds like a freaking heroin song. Maybe, I don't know. And Call Me the Breeze. But yeah, Sweet Home Alabama is a, a must in anybody's um, list or whatever. Yeah. And of course, it's no surprise. Blue Oyster Cult Secret Treaties. I also had Blue Oyster Cult on my, excuse me, 1973 list. Um, this has got Career of Evil. Love it. Subhuman. Love that one. Dominance and Submission. ME 262. KG Cretans, Harvester of Eyes, fucking amazing. Flaming Telepaths, such a great tune. And the one so many people love, Astronomy. Um, Astronomy, I can do without. I mean, it's a good song, but yeah, all these other ones I like better. A Career of Evil, love that song. Next up is uh, Led Zeppelin 3. Every Led Zeppelin album up to like Presence, or not Presence, uh, to Into the Outdoor, like every fucking album is listed like greatest hits. I mean, it's got Out on the Tiles on here, Since I've Been Loving You, Celebration Day, Friends, Immigrant Songs on here, Tangerine, That's the Way, Braun, Why, Or Stomp. Hats off to Roy Harper, Gallows Pole. Like so many songs you hear on the radio, like from every album. Not every song from each album, but it seems like so many from each album were hits. And Led Zeppelin's just. Led Zeppelin's a band you either love or hate. Kind of like Blue Oyster Cult. You either love them or you hate them. Bad Company's first album. Uh, just can't get enough. Rock steady, ready for love. Don't let me down. The song Bad Company, which I remember hearing on the radio back in the day. And you still hear it on classic rock stations. Uh, the Way I Choose, Moving On, Seagull. This is such a great sounding album too, by the way. Even uh, this, <coughs> I don't think this is an original. 74. I think it's probably a reissue at some point, but it still sounds amazing. The uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The the sound stage. You can hear like every instrument, and it sounds like they're right here playing live for you. That that's what I hear. So, and the last one, like I said, it's kind of slim pickings for me. For the 70s, it's got to be like common shit that you hear, heard from the 70s. That'd be Aeros this is Aerosmith, Get Your Wings. Um, I already had two Aerosmiths and two Bloister Cults. This has got same old song and dance, classic song. Lord of the Thighs, Spaced, Women of the World, SOS Too Bad, Training Kept a Rollin'. 
Seasons of Wither, and Pandora's Box. Aerosmith, I mean, it's a great rock band. They've uh, put in quite the career until, you know, permanent vacation, and then they embraced the 80s and did a lot of, like, battle of, balladly, ballad, balladly? Ballad-type stuff. And then it was like, what the fuck, you know? We're having the, the rock and band from the 70s. So. So that's uh, five albums from 1974 that would probably be my favorite that I have in my my collection. Physically have copies of. Uh, I don't do, I'm not going to do digital stuff. Because gotta have that physical media later on like in to the 80s and 90s gonna probably be more uh, uh, CDs possibly some cassettes thrown in because yeah that's what's gonna happen a lot of vinyl wasn't made in the 90s so but yes till next time rock on <laughs>